hotel magnate John Fitzpatrick is used to being the boss. He is the president and CEO of the Fitzpatrick's Hotel Group in Manhattan. But he's leaving this lifestyle behind to go undercover in some of the most deprived areas of Dundalk. None of the people he'll meet will know his true identity. And at the end of his stay, he'll give away tens of thousands of euro of his own money when he reveals he's the secret millionaire. John is keen to see what else is being done in the area to help keep kids out of trouble. So he decides to drop into a local boxing club that some of the children told him about. The club is run by local former boxing champion Paul Taff. He's passionate about the sport and volunteers all his spare time at the club. He's determined to give everyone a chance. We take anybody who wants it to help them on in, in, in a career or their life. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if you come in here or what do you call, what, what do you call it, um, two heads, four arms. You'll be helped. Nobody will make a laugh. It doesn't make any difference what you are. Fellas are around the 14 or 15. They're neither boy nor man. Up to 14 to 17. So they're changing the wee hormones or whatever they have. And the same with the girls. And they go off the rails. But they're just lost at, the, at that time. You know what I mean? There's rules and regulations that goes with the club. There's a code of conduct, right? They're not allowed to be smoking, drinking. They're not allowed to be intimidating people. They're not allowed to be fighting. Simple things like that. There are general things. Something that won't pull the club down. I used to be in gangs myself, so I did, but then I quit them all. You did quit the gang? Yeah. Like, they used to be about 15, 20 of us. So, and, uh, we'd, like, go around terrorizing and that there, like... And then by coming here, it kind of just... Yeah, like, it took me off the streets completely, so that, like, I've been here flat out every night that it has been on. So you've focused from one area to a totally different area. Yeah. It gives you, as you say, yeah. confidence, brings up your strength. Yeah, like, it teaches you how to, like, control yourself, and it's completely changed my life. <laughs> Are you the next Katie Taylor? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Well, it was a great setup in there. Everybody was there was volunteers. I mean, I, I counted about, I think, 12 or 14 volunteers. It, it, it's really good. It's a, it's a great cause, and I think it's great for the community. So, like everything, again, I just have to think about it and sleep on it. I can't support them all. I mean, I wish I could, but I'll just chat with Paul. I'm heading back to the boxing club because I just want to find out more about it. The other night was very noisy and things were going on. And more about Paul, see what Paul's all about. I presume they come from all estates, all areas, or whatever it's Well, we have them from, we have them all. We have them from Akeem, Cox, the main, Fatima, Cullerville, Tamil Fashion. So they're coming in from everywhere, and it's a nice family unit we have. O'Hanlon Boxing Club is run out of this rented hall. Everyone here is a volunteer. Paul and his team have to set everything up from scratch, as well as dismantle the lot three times a week for each training session. This is our training now for the week. <laughs> <laughs> this is my workout for the day. This is our workout for the day. It's a warm-up anyway. Let's keep warm-up, yeah. yeah. A little bit of help. We're putting an awful lot of time within the club, giving our time free, and to help these children along the way. And that's where we're coming from. And they, all they have to do is behave themselves. Help me. Help me. Bring them up. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Do they have to pay to come in? Well, it's, it's, t it's two euro per, per child, and what happens to that two euro, that, that covers everything for the child. So when the child comes into our club and we take them away, it costs them absolutely nothing. And if they come in and they don't have the two euros? It doesn't make any difference. It's not about the money. At the end of the day, we will always get money somewhere along the line for right. take these children away. You know what I mean? So if they can put it in. They, they can put it in. in. If they can afford it, they can afford it. Nobody's watching them. Right. And what happens is some of the parents who come in and see what we are doing for their children, they give it to set some of the people in sometimes. It's unbelievable how you get money. Is that right? It's unbelievable, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm here seven years. Seven years? Yeah. So you must be a fairly good boxer now. Yeah. No? I was staying with him one night and then she killed him. No, and then he nearly fell out of the ring. He nearly fell out of the ring? Yeah. When you're around my age, you'll be, you'll be a world champion. <laughs> 
the club doesn't belong to me, it belongs to the community. Nobody, no one person owns the club. I just have, I started it up, put my name on to everything, and it's about getting the whole community to interact. I think Paul doesn't seem to be worried too much about the money, where I presume he is worried, but he feels that it's more about, it's more about the organisation, it's more about, he's, he's set up, it's all the volunteers he has, they all want it, everybody is behind him. So, um, I don't know, but I, I'll definitely consider it. This gift is for a guy who just puts his whole life into the community and everybody can see the good that comes out of it. He's a, he's a great guy. Right, but listen, I just want to thank you in Shoulders Around the Club. It's just fantastic what you do for the kids. Give them their self-esteem, give them their confidence, which they need. And basically, you do it all on your own time. You don't get paid for it. And I have to just say, I really admire you for that. But I have to be honest with you. Um, we're not doing a documentary on the recession in Dundalk. Now, it's something very small, but Paul, I'd like to give you a check for just 2,000 euros Brilliant. for the kids. Lovely job. To help you just buy kits and whatever else yeah. is needed for you. It's only something small, but no, what no, I saw no, and there's nothing, it's, and, and giving something to children like this here is not small, it's massive. One set of gloves in the club could mean about two years' work out of a child. Thanks, William. Listen, I hold on. Thanks, John. It will go a long way. In boxing terms, it's a massive load of money for the children, and it's well appreciated. I appreciate it, and I know they will appreciate it. And we'll keep them going for the next two or three years anyway. And I'm, I'm, del I'm just delighted. I'm a speechless, that's what I'm going to say to you. So. And I haven't been speechless before. <laughs>